The longest post-secondary strike in British Columbia history is now over, but there are concerns that the truce between Vancouver Island University and its faculty will not last. After a month on the picket lines, the Faculty Association has agreed to send its members back to their classrooms to save the spring semester from being cancelled altogether. They'll be back to work first thing tomorrow morning. But as A News Mid Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett shows us, the key issues that prompted the strike in the first place are still unresolved. The picket line is finally down at VIU's Nanaimo campus, and students left in limbo for so long have a huge weight lifted from their shoulders. I'm very relieved we can actually commit to things now, like our employers and flights home. It's going to be a, a hard grind getting back into it, but anything to get everything done would be way better than having to retake it again, for sure. Four weeks' worth of classes were missed in the labor dispute that started March 10th. It was the longest post-secondary strike in the province's history. Tensions rose when the crucial deadline of April 11th approached. If the strike had continued, the semester would have had to be extended into May, or likely the semester would have been lost. The two parties uh, realized that if we were going to save the term, it was probably best that um, we try to find some outside assistance. Outside assistance being the BC Federation of Labour, the Public Sector's Employee Commission, the Federation of Post-Secondary Educators, and the Provincial Government. The issues that remain unresolved deal with job security and program cuts. So we appealed to the Minister of Labour and Stephanie Cadu uh, agreed to appoint a, a third party, uh, a special mediator to come and help the parties work out the issues over the next 30 days. If by the end of the 30 days no agreement is reached on the remaining issues, a non-binding public recommendation will be made. I think it's a big relief for everybody at the institution. You know, this is an institution that focuses on students and focuses on student success. So this has been very, very difficult for everybody involved at this institution to have this kind of an impasse. Regular classes resume Tuesday. The semester will now go until April 29th with the summer session to run as expected. But for many students, the strike has left a very bad taste. It kind of seems like a waste. It was really frustrating. It was probably one of the worst four weeks ever. I don't think it was worth it. I don't think they got anywhere during the four weeks. It just completely discouraged me. I don't even know if I want to be a student anymore after all this. The university now faces an uphill battle to regain the trust of present and future students, so they'll continue to love where they learn. Jonathan Bartlett joins us now with more. Jonathan, let me make sure I understand this. The, the students have had no classes, no instruction for four weeks, and they are expected to wrap up their semester by the 29th? Well, that's right, Hudson. If the strike hadn't happened, classes would have been ending by today, April 11th, and the normal exam period would be starting later this week. Now that exam period won't happen. Exams will be in class, or faculty members will simply determine other methods of evaluation for students' work. And what, what's some of the reaction from students? I understand not all of them are going back. They want somewhat refunds instead. That's right. I spoke to a number of students today who are out opting not to go back at all, either because they've found work or they simply want to start fresh next September. The university's website at viu.ca tells students full tuition refunds and academic penalty-free withdrawal for spring 2011 semester classes will be granted upon request. And those requests can be made only until 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday, April 19th. Hudson? All right, Jonathan Bartlett, thank you. Thank you.